what we're going to do is we're going to walk through a quick demonstration of the caddy drawer tool as though i was an engineer working on an assembly and what i'm going to demonstrate here is the design of a bearing in which i've really you know i ultimately designed for the assembly however uh, we know that design standardization across an assembly and across all of our products helps to lower our procurement costs and make all of our MRO uh, work a lot more efficient. And so on the screen here today, I have the drawing of a bearing uh, in which we had just designed. Uh, imagine that this was the ultimate bearing that we wanted for the part. However, we need to consolidate our assemblies across this particular design. What we're going to go ahead and do is we've loaded the drawing into our caddy drawer system by clicking the upload button at the top of the screen uh, and getting it into the environment. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on similar in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And when we click on similar, what the caddy drawer application is doing is it's crunching all of the metadata around shape and finding all of the other parts within our entire library that have similar shape to that. And what we can see as a result are bearings that as we scroll through are similar enough in shape that we should be able to use those parts in order to finish our assembly rather than creating a brand new part. This helps us reduce our overall cost by giving us better economies of scale. We don't have to qualify a new part for an assembly because we're already using this part. It's already been uh, qualified and we don't have to add potentially any new suppliers to our vector database. And so that's a primary way that uh, an engineering team working on assemblies, especially in the automation world, where so much is customized on inflows and outflows, would use the caddy drawer system.